Hi, it's Frank and Andrew from Man Lake, and today we're going to talk about bee feed, specifically liquid bee feed. And to understand feed, we got to understand the sugars and how the bees use those specific sugars. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay, well, first, you know, we've got sucrose. Sucrose is a compound sugar. Um, that is what we're going to find out in nectar when they're bringing it in and foraging. And uh, sucrose is going to help stimulate those wax glands, uh, draw comb, raise brood. It's going to tell that queen that we've got a, a honey flow on. Um, on the other hand, we've got fructose and glucose. Those are going to be more designed to add weight, uh, fat bodies, um, and, and be that carbohydrate that adult bees need to um, feed on. So they, they do different things, and it's important to understand that um, glucose and fructose are going to be different, prop, give you different results compared to just the sucrose. Right. So where does the glucose fructose come from? Well, your, your, your glucose fructose is going to come from when the, the honeybees start that inversion process, and they're going to take that, that nectar, that sucrose, they're going to break it down into two simple sugars, which will then be the glucose and fructose. Which we know as? Honey. So they're gonna cap it, they're gonna put that in, they're gonna fan it out, cap it. That's what we know as honey. Okay, so why am I gonna need this? Product? So ProSweet is a blend of all three sugars. So we've got glucose, fructose, and sucrose all in there. It is above the fermentation line, which is 71%, which is why it's called ProSweet 77. That 77 it, uh, shows the solid sugar count in it. So it's the most sugar per gallon that you're getting in a, in a gallon of feed. Is that why it's so thick? It's the glucose and fructose that make that, that thick like um, honey. Right. So the, the, one of the benefits about ProSweet is we know it's not going to ferment. It's shelf stable because of the amount of sugar that's in it. It's above the fermentation line. Likewise, because of the amount of sugar, it's not going to crystallize the same way that just fructose and glucose might be crystallizing. Right. So this is a shelf-stable product. And then um, one of the biggest benefits and draws to this product is that as the bees are consuming it, drawing home, rearing brood, moving that colony forward, anything they're not consuming, they can put in that cell and store, they can cap it right away. So if we're in a dearth or if they've got to go into those reserves, they'll be feeding on something like this. Okay, so... Why would I want to use this over a straight sucrose solution? Well, over a straight sucrose solution, um, well, you're going to have other obstacles. You're going to have to worry about fermentation. Which is a big one in the summertime. It's, and it's probably the biggest one. So uh, sugar water, sucrose, will ferment. Um, it can ferment within two weeks. It could take three weeks. It, it, it's going to depend. Um, but what happens is if, if your sugar water ferments and you're unaware of it, you're going to think your, your bees are getting fed. They won't be. Your bees are not going to eat it. It's a waste of money. And you're missing that window of feed that those bees need to move that colony forward. What time of the year do I use this? So you're going to be using, let's, so if we think about the springtime first, if we're going to be pulling, um, you know, building up packages or nukes that we've uh, received maybe we're going to do some early season splits we've got to move that colony forward into that flow so that's that's really a great time for that if you're thinking about in the summertime you're probably going to be in a dearth period either late spring summer or late summer depending on where you are when you're in a dearth it's critical that the bees are continuously being fed because we don't want them snacking on their reserves all that progress and growth that they've made in that summertime, it's critical that we keep that colony stable and growing so we can capture everything in that fall flow and give them everything they need as we're pulling them through the winter. Right. And then if we're using this in the fall, as we're pulling honey, we're going to want to think about um, the weight of the hive. So if you're unsure, you can lift up the bottom of the box, feel if they, if they need weight, ProSweet is an excellent choice because it's already thick. If you feed sugar water when it's too cold, you can run the risk of giving that colony moisture into the winter, which is a, a major problem, right? As well as dysentery. That's right. And so we, we need to make sure that what you're feeding them in the fall, if we're backfilling them in order to add weight to that colony, that it's something we know they're going to be able to cap. That way, when they go into that we season of needing it. That 18 and a half and cap. Yes. Right. Yep, exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you have another product here. 
Yeah. In the event I'm going to feed a straight sucrose, what will that be for me? So Pro Health um, is a um, it's a feeding supplement that we have with essential oils, all natural emulsifiers, lemongrass. It's going to act as an attractant to the sugar water. If you smell it, you can smell all of the that stuff in it. And then the biggest benefit of ProHealth really is that it's going to drastically slow down that fermentation process. And so if you are going to use sugar water, make your own sugar water, you definitely want to consider putting something in like ProHealth that's going to help make sure that that sugar water doesn't ferment on you. Last question. Who makes this and where can I get it? So we make this product, Man Lake. You can get it at all, every Man Lake location, California, Texas, Florida, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, and um, a lot of our dealers, actually, they carry the product as well. So if you are um, not able to come to one of the buildings to pick up, our dealer, a lot of our dealers carry it. We also ship the product in different sizes, one gallon, two and a half, five gallon buckets, depending on what someone needs. And then we offer much larger scale deliveries for people that need that as well. All of our pro suite is blended in house. So to, for us to just ensure higher quality control, it's critical. We're the ones making that feed. We cannot run the risk of putting it out to tons of people without knowing exactly what went in, when it went in, how it's made to ensure that everything is healthy. Okay, so if I want to save a little money, can I bring my own five gallon buckets and you fill me up? Sure can. Perfect.